Well, I'm a little bit off the beaten track today. Uh, I've come somewhere that I haven't been for oh, a lot of years. The last time I was up here, I, uh, I was riding a BMW R1150 GS. Uh, and as I say, we must be talking 10 or 11 years ago. I thought I'd have a run up here, up into the Yorkshire Dales, and uh, up to the Ribblehead Viaduct. It's taken me a damn sight longer than I expected to get up here. Uh, I'd estimated probably two, two and a half hours. It's actually taken me nearer three and a half. Absolute nightmare of a journey. Huddersfield, Halifax, Keithley, Skipton, and the roads are clogged with traffic. Uh, 30 zones, 40 zones, speed cameras everywhere. It's just been an absolute nightmare getting up here. But I've arrived at last and I want to ride down this road that takes you down to Hawes and uh, down towards Leyburn as I seem to recall it was a lovely road with sweeping bends and mainly downhill so that's what I'm planning on doing now I'm gonna get off any moment and uh, Enjoy the roads up here. I've already covered 111 miles to get here. Uh, and as I've said earlier, it's not been the most pleasant of journeys. All around Huddersfield, Halifax, Keithley, it's just villages and built up areas. The roads are absolute, absolutely crammed with lorries and traffic. It's not, uh, not a pleasant trip. I'm hoping this is going to be a little bit more enjoyable. I must admit, once I got past Skipton uh, and out towards Settle, the roads quietened quite a bit once you got off the main A65. Uh, and then the road up here to, uh, to Ribble Head was quite a pleasant ride. But... Uh, I've done 111 miles, I've only stopped once, I just stopped in Settle just to fill up because I don't want to have to uh, mess about again stopping for fuel The old T120 has run really well really smooth and uh, trouble free so far, touch wood <laughs> I say I'm a uh, not my usual area, the Yorkshire Dales, it's a good drag for me to get up here. Can't remember this road all that well, but I do recall it was a nice nice road to ride for a motorcycle. 
motorcycle. I'm just taking it nice and steady. I don't want to finish up in a big uh, pile on the floor. <laughs> I don't know whether the views are going to go any better, it's a bit uh, bland at the moment. I'm hoping it's going to open up a bit soon. time I wouldn't have minded riding over Tan Hill it's not that far away from here I don't think just a little bit more north but as it is uh, I've only rode up here on a day trip and I'm going to be pushed for time getting back I haven't decided what route I'm going to take back yet. I'm not a big motorway fan. I did come up the motorway so far up the M1 this morning. And that wasn't too bad. I might drop down onto the A1, I'm not sure yet. if I go all the way down to Leyburn. Ah, oh, that's better. Better view altogether. to the Peak District up here, it's more open and uh, I think the hills are a bit taller as well. myself and uh, find my own way 
whether I get lost or not. You're never truly lost. You can always figure out where you are and where you need to be. I almost got a bit wary on these uh, roads that have been recently green, you know, resurfaced. You can never quite tell whether it's whether there's still patches of loose stuff or whether they've actually swept it. And you can bet your bottom dollar if you're going to find loose stuff, it's going to be in corners. At least they've got round to putting road markings back on. say we're going to get a decent day Is everywhere else I've come to seem to uh, be further than I expected. Well, this is Falls. Well, to be perfectly frank, I'm a little bit disappointed because. I've ridden all this way to, have to ride down that piece of road from uh, Ribblehead thinking it was going to be a nice long journey <laughs> it took me about five minutes See if this piece of road's any better. At least the scenery is lovely.
Rejska